Okay, so this video was recorded using Camtasia, the free trial version to be specific. Because of that, um, there's going to be a watermark in the video. As you can see, trial version, there will be a watermark. Just a heads up for the video. All right, my name is Camilo Moreno. My group partner is Giselle Mohammed, and we are group six from Dr. Carday's Object Oriented Programming class at FAU, Florida Atlantic University. So for our project, we did a simple shopping cart op, and right now you're seeing an Android emulator, specifically Jenny Motion. Um, here on the home screen, you can see our shopping cart icon, app, whatever. All right, so the first thing I want to show you is the login screen, of course. Uh, login authentication. If I try to log in with no like your name, of course, it's not going to let me. If I try with only this, won't let me. Okay, I need both. But here it won't let me either because there's no account under that name or and or password. So I'm going to go ahead and try again with clicking new user. And that will make an account under my name or whatever you put as a username. As you can see, here is the main screen. Right. On an actual Android phone, you would scroll. Um, the layout of it is basically you have your toolbar up here with the title of the screen, the shopping cart app icon, which you can go to the shopping cart with. I'll go over that in a sec. You can log out and I'm going to click no. So we can continue here. Um, the shopping cart bar here will update as I add items, as you can see. Right, and it'll keep track of the number of items and the subtotal. If I try to add more than more items than I already have, so here I already added one, as you can see in the shopping cart, but there's only one available, right? So if I try to add more, it's going to say no more items available to place in the cart. So that's this can happen with any of the items. So there, I think I already added two. Same thing. Um, whenever you see the items, right, any item you can click on and you can see a full product view for the product. Uh, it will have a photo, the title, price, uh, available quantity, and some description for that item. That is for any of them. So as you can see, edit. Okay, uh, let's add a few more items. And now let's go to the shopping cart, right? All throughout the user's experience, besides the product view, you'll be able to see the items in the cart, or the number of items, and the subtotal. Once we get to the shopping cart, we can review. Again, we can click on the items. But we can also decrement the, the number of items per you know per product. So we can do that. As we delete them, they'll just get disappear from the shopping cart. And the quantity is not updated here as you add items, as you can see, right? So if I click, they're added seven, I think. So we added all the cards. So the way they're updated is you have to click pay here and currently the payment process is fake it's just there for purpose but once you click purchase the shopping cart will be cleared as well as you know your subtotal the, the shopping cart bar and when we go back to the main screen the inventory is updated with whatever we bought so I, I, one more time as you can see this is not six so one more time and we buy one of those and one of these and two of these and we pay for it and let me go back and you'll see these are now zero, right? We can still go here and see that they are in fact zero. That's pretty much what you can see from the customer side of the view of the app. So now let's go to the seller. Um, let's say FAU is the seller. Oh, I type that in right, FAU. Um, FAU doesn't exist, so of course we have to, well, that would be a customer. This would be a seller, but the seller does not, whoops. We have to click login does not exist either so i have to click new user and you know the credentials and it'll make an account with those credentials this new account has no um products yet so first of all as you can see the top toolbar stays pretty much the same besides this button here no longer shopping cart now it shows the statistics for the user um the profit revenues and costs of items sold um are not tracked currently you can only right now you can only see the current inventory costs so we'll see that in a sec um here the difference between you know the, uh, the customer side of the view is that even though it tracks the number of items in your list uh obviously there's no shopping cart here so we can create a new product all right in this screen 
we can, or we have to actually watch if I try to make a, if I try to make an item without filling it all the fields, it won't let me. So first of all, I have to click on the image, select from this pre-populated list of images, right? Which you can see is just a, a list of the icons you see around the app. Um, we do need to fill the whole thing. So as you can see, you fill in all fields. So I'll just make a pencil, a prize, and some text, and just some random text. It's weird. It just looks weird. Let me just. Whoa, whoa, whoops. I forgot. This is an Android app. I can't do. Okay. Um, sample text. Okay. Uh, submit, and it will add it to the inventory. Okay. Um, here again, we can see the product view. Except now, you know, we see the invoice price because we're on the seller side of the app. We can also edit the quantity. So let's just say 500 pencils at $50. Yeah, whatever. Oh, whoops. We can also delete it, right? So we click delete. It will say no data because it's deleted. The items are always tracked. Let's make a few more products. So let's just click this. Oh, more pencils. So maybe let's fix that price, $2. And let's say we have 500 of those. Oh, just kidding. Let's say there are 500 of those. Pencils. Add a product. Make a new product. Let's add this. Oh, red cart. Let's say it's $150, about it at 60 or something like that. Let's say we have 50 of those. Shipping card item, whatever. Okay, so we added those. Um, right, the total number of items is calculated there. And now we can also see the, as I said, this part works well. Current inventory costs are calculated based on the cost of the item, not the selling price. So it's 60 times 50 plus, you know, whatever I got this, 500, one times 500. So now the last thing to show you is if I go out and log in as a customer and I buy items that pertain to that, to that seller, so I added six of those and 10 of those, I think. Yeah, so if we buy these, purchase, of course, they're updated here, but now if I go out and go to the seller, to whom do those, those items belong? Uh, who was it? FAU, right? Yes, FAU. This is a seller. So log in as seller. As you can see, the items are updated, and so is the current inventory costs. And additionally, I can edit, and it'll also show on the customer side. Update that, leave that. Um, yes, log out and sell you customer side. And besides all that, that is basically the app. All right, this is cart. Um, the seller FAU had a red card, so this is a different product from a different person. And yeah, you see, updated quantity, and the other one is gone. And that is it for the app. Thank you.